Now, traditionally, with air-cooled Volkswagens, if you want some heat in the cab, you have to rely on air being blown from the fan of the engine over the exhaust system inside some heat exchangers. That's where it got warmed up, and then it got blown through the heater channels in the bodywork into the cab. But because of the pared-down design of the thing, it doesn't have any of that. Our VW has an auxiliary petrol-run heater under the bonnet. It doesn't work. Why? Now, the controls for this heater may seem a little unusual. The first one is almost exactly like an egg timer. It's a clockwork device that you can wind up. It gives you up to 20 minutes of run time. Now, the other control is this one down here. This is for the heater temperature. It's currently in its cold position. So the further you pull this out, the hotter the heater will go. If you just pull it out, which I can't do, then you can actually control the amount of heat. So the further out it is, the hotter it's supposed to be. But at the moment, that's going nowhere. And of course, as you can hear, even though the clock works on, and even though it's on position, the heater isn't actually working either. So clearly, there's a couple of issues that need further investigation. I removed the cover of the thermostat in the hope of finding the cause of the jammed cable. Aha. Uh -huh. So, what we seem to have here is some kind of thermostatic switch. You can see it's actually in the duct here that takes the hot air into the cab. So this little spring thing will be some kind of bimetallic strip. Our Bowden cable here that was jammed goes to this lever here, and that should, by the looks of it, move. So depending on what happens to that strip when it heats up, whether it coils up or uncoils, and on the end of that shaft, you've got this little D-shaped cam. I'm looking at it, it doesn't seem to be working, but that's supposed to presumably, there we go. So all the time your little egg timer is running, that actually turns on the fan, which also sounds like it needs to be balanced perhaps, but this is clearly seized. This needs some adjustment as well. So if this isn't working, you can't adjust the heat temperature. So therefore, I think we need to change this one. It's very difficult to track down rare parts like this, but after a long search, I find a replacement unit in Germany for a hundred bucks or 60 quid. But will it cure the fault? So now when I connect our wires, this should now go on. So just to show that it works, it's going to turn on a little heater, warm up the biometallic strip. You can see it actually shrinks slightly it's because it now thinks it's up to temperature. But if I wanted a bit more heat in the cab, I then pull our little button for the temperature control out, which moves the Bowden cable, which moves this arm. So this works perfectly as you'd expect. I'll just turn that off again. So again, turn it back down to the off position. So this is working wonderfully. So all I have to do now is pop it back into position and then see if it all works properly. Let's try this one more time. Let's just turn on our heater. That's good. Let's have a little feel. Mm. I think I might have to check what else could be wrong, because at the moment, I'm getting nothing but cold. The petrol in the system is vaporized and ignited by a special heated spark plug. And I checked to see first if there's actually a spark. Oh, look at that. Lovely fat spark. That's working a treat. We also noticed there's no sign of any fuel actually on the plug. It's not wet in any way at all. I think probably the problem is something to do with our fuel supply.